Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Alexandria, Virginia. We are here in front of the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Now I'm sure this is one of those things that many of you would expect would be in Washington DC proper. And for many, many years it was. Today it resides here in this huge glass and brick structure in Alexandria, however. It moved here from nearby Crystal City, also in Alexandria, in 2005. And it has, over the years, occupied many, many facilities. Now, the basis for the Patent Office stems right from our United States Constitution. In Article 1, Section 8, where it states that the Congress shall be able to, you know, promote, I don't remember the exact words, I'll put it on the screen here, but promote science and art and to provide a protection for the people who create the art or make the discoveries for a period of years. So that is where the Patent Office stems from, is right from the Constitution. Now for many years, the Patent Office actually was housed in what is now this huge stone building, which is the portrait gallery of the Smithsonian Institution's Museum in downtown DC from about 1865 until 1932, and then for various reasons it closed and moved. It kept outgrowing its facilities. Um, for so much of its history, everything of course was paper. That paper had to be filed and stored and everything. Things are more electronic now, it takes up less space, but still a huge amount of information that has to be housed. So this is the final home, at least for now, since 2005, of the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So this is the organization, and it's funny because I don't really know that it's part of the Department of Commerce, but it does report to the Department of Commerce and to the President and the administration on matters of, well, intellectual property and intellectual property protection and promotion that's going to add to the um, building of the United States economy. So a relatively important part of our economy as a whole. So, I, but again, I don't know that it's considered part of the Department of Commerce or if it's an independent thing unto itself. But they do report their findings and, their, and they report to, in the sense of re giving them information, the Department of Commerce, which is located in downtown Washington, D.C. So that's why we're down here in Alexandria, because the facility keeps moving on us. And it's something that I have used extensively over the course of my career because I do a lot of research and I've done a lot of research in the past for writing articles because I always wrote about new technologies so this is something very near and dear to my heart but I will warn you that there is uh, comparatively little or almost no parking if you have business to conduct at the patent office you're going to need to probably either get a cab or an uber or come in by the metro system and walk about a half a mile from the nearest station. And I can't tell you off the top of my head how many people actually are employed with the patent office. If I can find it, when I get back to put this together, I'll put that here on the screen. But I know it's a, it's a relatively large organization. So that large glass and brick building and they have a beautiful courtyard on the other side which is immaterial to the idea of the office it's just nice set dressing that is essentially the offices of the united states patent and trademark office here in alexandria virginia they do have other facilities by the way i believe there's one also somewhere in california and i think one in detroit but this is of course the headquarters so Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short visit to the United States Patent and Trademark Office here in Alexandria, Virginia. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will do my very best to answer them. I love hearing from all of you, so please leave us a comment. Uh, that's very important to us. If you're new here, hey, pick subscribe, come along for the adventure, because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.